Hello, welcome to my little channel where I'm going to be talking about how to set up a Synology disk station, share with Linux Mix and AutoFS as the mounting program. A little backstory on this, when I got home from the pub on Wednesday, through the wonderful program of update manager that handles all my updates to keep my system up to date I was got a few updates enough to go ahead and reboot my my machine now I do have the sensitive and dangerous files which are a little bit more bleeding edge and more kernel level updates that adds a little bit more performance but also requires a little bit more troubleshooting and configuring sometimes so I got a couple of these which were kernel and a couple of drivers for the video so I decided to reboot and upon reboot my Synology shares were not there they were disconnected I opened up the terminal and opened the sudo mount all command and got an error message and with googling that there wasn't a real simple solution I tried editing the F stab again to try to get it to work properly and it just was not working I kept on getting the, the similar error messages with a little different error messages that gave me hope but I still wasn't able to figure it out but that's okay um, I got it working and that's what this video is about is how I went about it to get it working so of course I created a little readme file for me because I probably plan on doing this on my next installation build or when I finally build a new gaming PC so I don't think it matters on the orders of these two applications but you will need to install the NFS common package and AutoFS. Now by default when you install AutoFS it will install the Auto Master file. So we're going to go over that one first. So I leave the files alone when they're auto built or auto created. Done because that's just my precaution that's my best practice so I added this at the end of the file of, yeah, of the file uh, I'll break it down what this is this is where you're going to mount your, your network shares this could be pretty much anything you want you can create a new folder it doesn't matter if you do it in your home directory that does not matter uh, I always create a root file folder that's where I mount everything and this right here is where the next file that we're going to edit is going to be located I kept everything in the Etsy because that's where all the websites I've been to said to keep it to throw it in there and I labeled it auto NFS it could be anything you want if I understand it correctly but I'm just trying to get it work since I was a little impaired at the time and it just makes common sense it's easy to remember uh, this, this piece right here which is the two dashes and the word ghost uh, that would actually auto mount the directories within this area even if they're not mounted they just show up there uh, they are going to be empty directories until we do the final stage uh, but once you got these two things set up we're not done yet uh, now I don't think it matters but 
Yeah, I don't think it matters when we do this. I just went ahead and did these after every changes because I was trying to troubleshoot and try to narrow it down. Um, so right here is the auto NFS file right here. Uh, everything I read says that this should be the recipe or the format you want to do. The first portion would be the name of the share that you want to mount. The file type, which is going to be NFS4, comma RW, which is going to be read and write. Uh, from there, you're going to do host name or the IP address and the shared name location. Uh, since I'm a lazy bastard and prefer to work smarter, I created my own recipe right here, which is just the share name, the file type, and my Synology name for I named it the volume and the path since everything's going mostly everything's going to be in there minus uh, three and if I were ever to add more it will probably be within the data and this gives me a point of reference what I need to do uh, so I created my shares right here um, at this point in time I did run these two commands to restart the services and to reload um, I don't think both of them are needed but I tend to be a little overkill uh, but we're not done yet from here uh, we will need to make sure that uh, we're set up for NFS uh, and we want to go to file service even though I did click on information uh, we want to make sure that by a minimum this is enabled and for the version 4 support is enabled it's right here um, you can go ahead and click on here which will go to share folders um, and this is kind of where I have an issue with the Synology. Um, now with NFS everything with authentication is kind of handled on the on the server side which will be the disk station. So we will go to shared folders and this is where where, where I have issues. So we're going to right click and go to edit. We're going to go to NFS partition. Uh, I started off using the actual name of my main desktop that I use or you could use IP address it doesn't matter um, I'm not going to add it but I'm going to show you what I have uh, now it's just for me and it's just a one person show so this will work now if you have a small group or small office this may not be the solution that you want to go because you do not have control over it so I do the host name or the IP address you want read write I do map root as admin and I'm just leaving the security as the default I enable all three of these you hit OK you'll have right here so that one folder right there does have it um, now let's say if you're like me that do have uh, multiple folders within the subfolders I went ahead and checked that don't know if it was needed or not but I did it anyways um, so the data is actually set up now of course if you're like me you have your music folder your photo and your video you have to do the same thing to all of them. There's no way to select individual select a group and edit them that way. Um, unfortunately, not. I wish there was a way to do that, but I understand the reasons behind that. One is it gives you more control and more security. So let's say if you have multiple users or multiple computers, you, you could do it individually computers but there's no way to group that in there uh, once you do that then you could go ahead and go back to your command line 
run these two commands and then you'll have your network shares set up uh, so way I did have them set up is to do F stab to go in here but as you can see they're not here they're not showing up you can just empty directories uh, this right here is where my I have it and as you can see everything is set up and I'm happy to go and upon reboot everything works now as a bonus through this I did learn something cool and a little bit more security um, I do apologize for the tearing I'm using the screen the screen capture which unfortunately causes tearing I've been trying to troubleshoot that as well if anyone knows anything about OBS and Linux Mint with the tearing and how to stop it let me know I'm not an expert I'm just a guy out here streaming video games and having fun but back back to the bonus material what I'm calling bonus material so of course this is the server which works just fine because it's running Linux Mint before I was doing username and password but however you can do credentials equals the location right here I created this file called dot civs which has the username and password it's a real simple file or folder wherever you have file text file it just has username equals the name to my server password equals the password to the account I put that in the root folder of the root directory and I changed mod it to 600 to add more security uh, it works I rebooted it if you want more information on that just let me know I might make a video or I just might add a comment just let me know um, just like to say thank you for watching and hope you learned something hope you enjoyed it and have yourself a wonderful day